let's talk about traveling light with just a backpack. It's a personal preference but definitely can save you 30 minutes of travel time at the airport and you can go to unplanned places with an awesome outcome. My backpack is a standard laptop backpack measuring at least 10 by 6 by 6.5 inches where a 15.6 inch laptop fits and more importantly, it fits the personal item size of the airline I traveled with. The nylon fabric has a satin silk feel and has a beautiful embroidered design. It's water resistant and it's very important because it prevents my stuff from getting wet. There are multiple compartments of this bag, starting off with a zippered front. It's useful for your earphones and small snacks like Nutty Bar. It's very spacious with a depth of 1 inch and 9.5 and inch length. On both sides are deep pockets for either water bottle, umbrella, or small tripod and it has a good 8 inch length or it's deep enough to secure your items in. At the back by the right hand side is a zippered pouch that's good for your passport, boarding pass and other travel documents. Now the two straps are also nylon finish and adjustable to as long as 39 inches. Whereas the two handles have strapped to bottom clip them together and it can be hold like a tote bag. Now, let's take a look at what's inside. The interior is of soft polyester lining that dries faster than other fabrics and the main compartment opens for easy access of 8 by 11 inch wide. The pockets featured inside include the ones usually found in shoulder bags for pens and phones, while on the other side includes laptop pocket that can be secured with Velcro and a zippered pocket for other personal stuff like um, keys. This backpack can also be used for school and is a diaper bag for mom's baby's needs during travel. Depending on you, this can be used for a weekend trip or one week or months of trip, which I've seen some people do because it's not the things you pack that makes the trip, it's how you pack and make things travel worthy. Inside this, I was able to pack then all the important and essential things. Now let me show you how I packed. This is for traveling to cold weather. I made sure that I have this warm retaining jacket, fold it really well through the rolling technique and put it in this laundry bag so that it can be used as a pillow. The first thing that I always packed are clothes. Tank tops are always useful and then I have t-shirts, the long sleeve t-shirts and the long sleeve polo shirts. Then make sure to pack pants that are appropriate for the weather of the place you're going to visit. I have two kinds of pants here, the thermal pants and the leggings. And don't forget the underwear. Next are toiletries. Cotton tips, shampoo and soap, and you could use the one that you haven't used in your previous travel or from hotels. Toothbrush and toothpaste. Air freshener and deodorant. Extras and other options are based on your personal preference and where you're going to travel. I put them all in a toiletry bag that are easily accessible when I pass through the TSA check. My third necessity is gadgets, earphone, chargers, power banks with cords and wires. Some other personal options include makeup and these are minimalist makeup, just something to put color on your skin and most importantly shield your skin from the sun.
and don't forget your prescription medications. Put them all in your handbag, including your wallet, your passport or identification, and your boarding pass. Now let's talk about airport clothes that you're going to wear. For me, it boils down into three categories. Casual, clothing for cold weather, and clothing for warm weather. this helps thanks for watching buongiorno